Now that we know how to negotiate with our suppliers like a pro, it's time to talk about how we create an intelligent sales machine style brand. We must do this before we get into actually purchasing the item from the supplier, as we'll need to complete some tasks such as finalising our product packaging before we can finalise our order and pay the supplier. Let's dive in and show you how simple this part is. So the first thing to say about ISM style brands is that the brand you're creating should be a simple one that covers almost any product type. That's right, I don't actually create multiple brands for every single item I'm selling. We create one brand that will house all our products. See, the way I do things here, I believe that the brand should not relate to a particular niche. This is the way I've done it for many years now and it has worked very well for me. To give you a very simple example of how this might look, Let's go back to our pool rake example that we've used in the program. The way most people will tell you to do this would be to create a brand called Swim Time. Now, the thinking behind it makes sense. Brand something and relate it back to that niche in some way. In our model, we are focusing on creating rule of five profit centers that will pay us passively. We are not focused on creating a brand that you plan to sell for millions in the future. Why? Because we're creating a lifestyle business. So the intelligent sales machine way of creating a brand that would work for this pool rake would be to call that brand Lifetime. Now, is that a perfect brand name? No, but will it work well for this type of business? Yes, it certainly would. But don't worry, I have a method that will result in the creation of a much better universal brand name for your business. A final point on brand names is that it is not your company name. You see, your company and your brand name are not the same thing. Your company is the vehicle that sells your product, and your brand is merely in place to give you protection on Amazon. What does that mean? Well, it's simple. When you brand your item with your own unique bonus, you make it much more difficult for a competitor to jump on your listing and claim that they sell the same item as you. Remember, a unique product sold under a certain brand can only have one corresponding listing on Amazon. So it's in our interest to own our brand so that we are the only seller that can sell on our unique Amazon listing. Let's start creating our brand. So when you're creating your brand, it's wise to keep away from long, complicated names. Why? Because simple is best with your brand, especially if customers are trying to remember the name of it. They want to tell their friends about it or find your listing on Amazon quickly to rebuy in future. It also makes life easier for designing logos in the future. Now, there are four ways to create a brand name. The first way is to use what's called a descriptive mark. This conveys knowledge of ingredients, services. Some examples of this are Best Buy, Auction Web, or First Bank. The brand name basically describes what the business does in some way. Second, we have what we call a suggestive mark. This suggests a quality or feature of your product, but doesn't describe the actual products within the brand. For example, Copperton or Home Depot. The problem here is that it creates an association with a certain type of product or ingredient. Next, we have arbitrary marks, which are words that exist but have nothing to do with the products at all. Good examples are Google, Amazon or Subway. The problem with these types of brand names is that they're difficult to come up with. Finally, I have a coined mark, which is a made up word that will be associated with your brand. Good examples are Starbucks, Exxon, and Kodak. Coined brand names are the best use as they pose the smallest risk of legal issues in the future. They also help you avoid boxing your product into any specific niche or category. So how then can you create your own coined brand name? The good news is that it's actually very simple. Here's how I suggest you do it. First, try using your surname or a mixture of your first and last name. This alone could help you create a brand name as you can see with our examples. Next, try utilizing a suitable place name. Rural names are ideal for this. Again, as you can see from the examples, these brand names are quite vague in nature, but they work well for us. Go ahead and try to create a brand name for yourself. The good news is that you have creative freedom here, so go for it. Now, over time, you may want to trademark your brand, but this topic is beyond the scope of this course and is covered in detail in our legal program. Just know that it is, of course, completely possible.